So someone we, we take out blood from our our hands. Now I take a nickel, I put it in my vein and take out blood and give it to my friend so that he can feel what I feel. Bluetoothing, the latest method in shooting up heroin. The desired effect is a small high, diluted after the drug has already made its way through the first user's veins. But this method poses a number of health risks. It's going to get worse. It's just, that's common sense, because if this is real, this is probably the most effective way. Sharing a syringe is the most effective way to get HIV, right? You are 15 times more likely to contract the virus by sharing a needle and syringe than through penile and vaginal sex, unprotected. So it's still like the most direct mode of transmission. Now you add blood into the equation, depending, I suppose, on circumstance or what, how, what's happening. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's scary, it's frightening. It's a risk, I know, but uh, you know, uh, drugs is, you don't care about anything, you just want the shot, you see. I didn't have money on me, and then this friend of mine offered to pollute it, you see. So then I said, okay, let me try it, because I don't have a choice, I don't have money, I'm feeling cramps, you see, maybe if I Bluetooth, then uh, everything is going to be okay. Your only drive is not to withdraw. And people will do anything not to withdraw. And if this is real, it's showing us that this is the desperation that people are finding themselves in. That's what I think needs to come across, is that people are desperate. And if there's no service to access, what are they supposed to be doing? So it's like they can't even afford to buy drugs anymore, right? So now they might be doing this practice. So what's next? One user says that faced with limited resources, inmates started the practice in prison. This thing here is new here outside, but in prison, most of the time in prison, there is no staff, like here outside, you understand? So that start in prison, this Bluetooth thing, and it comes outside. Most of the guys, they are leaving them, they are coming outside. When they come outside, they practice what they have done before, outside, uh, inside, you understand? They are doing it outside. Attached to the risk, is also a stigma. Uh, they are ashamed of it, you see, because you don't know if a person has HIV or not, you see. So most of the people, when they're Bluetoothing, they hide. We don't do it properly. We hide and then we Bluetooth me and my friend. Ultimately, Madeira says that without addressing the causes of the drug, the situation can only be expected to get worse. When we, when we don't address social ills, we get shocked with front page news that people might be injecting blood. And in, in my brain, it, I understand what's going on and I just wish that other people would start looking at it from that angle. If we are not giving people any opportunity or any other hope, what do we expect? Why do we expect any different? Why is this even shocking to anyone? Why is anyone surprised? that people are finding themselves in a situation where injecting some, some other human being's blood sounds like a good idea.